first time in 30 years, the FDA has announced new guidelines for sunscreens. They're aimed at holding sunscreen makers accountable for making claims of total UV protection. The hope is that consumers will be able to better protect themselves against the damaging rays of the sun. And how specialist Denise DeDore is here to explain the new rules. Denise. Well, David, there's so much out there. If you've ever been confused by SPF numbers or what broad spectrum really means, you'll be happy to hear about these new sunscreen guidelines. The FDA says it will now require sunscreen makers to either prove they filter out both UVA and UVB rays or the labels will carry a warning. I use the sunscreen and I always read in the labels. Maricela Herman trusts what the labels say, but manufacturers are leaving something out. And SPF 40 doesn't always mean you're getting SPF 40 protection against both UVA and UVB, just UVB. SPF does not measure UVA. And those are two different kinds of ultraviolet rays that both can cause skin damage. UVA rays don't cause sunburns, but they do cause premature aging and skin cancer. And if you think you're getting both in a broad spectrum product, you may not be. UVA has to match UVB protection in order for you to write that number on the box. This will be one of the key changes when the FDA's labeling requirement goes into effect. Also, the government is looking into whether to allow products that claim to give you an SPF above 50. Nancy Whalen buys an expensive SPF 70, but studies show after 50, the protection doesn't make much of a difference. To me, that's wrong. They should be going and checking it. In the meantime, Dr. Shirley Chi with the Center of Advanced Dermatology says look for key ingredients. I should say zinc or titanium. So if it's got zinc or titanium in it, those are minerals. Those are going to scatter the sunlight. They're going to reflect sunlight, so they're going to block both UVA and UVB. The other thing consumers need to know, just because a label says sweat-proof or waterproof, it doesn't mean it is. There's no sunscreen that's absolutely waterproof. Once you're in the water, it's going to wash off. So I always tell my patients, you have to reapply when you come out of the water. So the new labels may say... If it's water resistant for 40 minutes, then they'll put water resistant for 40 minutes. The new labels must be on all sunscreens by the summer of 2012. But these changes won't help unless you use enough. To cover your body, you should use about an ounce or enough to fill a shot glass. And for just your face and neck, that comes out to about a third of a teaspoon. As for spray-on sunscreens, Dr. Chi doesn't recommend them for children because kids can inhale the chemical particles. And also, you can't use the word sunblock soon. Oh, okay. So you won't be seeing that. Good to know.